everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the black ROM on your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Uh, very excited to install this ROM as it is from Team Rejects and Team Nocturnal. They decided to work together and put a ROM together. So very excited to install it. First of all, you're gonna to need to make sure you have a custom recovery specifically um, if you have an ice cream sandwich recovery, you have to have that safe AGAT recovery, which I showed you how to install in my FF18 video. Otherwise, you can be on a gingerbread recovery. Obviously, you guys know Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 with those gingerbread kernels. Otherwise, if you're on an ice cream sandwich based recovery, you have to be on that AGAT recovery, which I believe is what I am on right now. So, otherwise, though, once you have that safe custom recovery to install a ROM, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. It's going to take you to the Team Nocturnal website. Go ahead and scroll down. Uh, as you can see, uh, Midja74 posted this, but uh, again, it's a ROM from Team Rejects and Team Nocturnal, so uh, big shout out to them. Be sure to thank them. You'll see the coalition right there. Uh, but scroll down, gives you information about the ROM. Keep scrolling down, screenshots, and you will see download right here. Click on this link right here, latest and greatest. Click on it, download it. It'll be a zip file. Transfer that zip file over to your device, whether it be internal or external storage. Once, we, once you've transferred it over to your device, go ahead and go back to your phone. All right, and once we are back to our device, we are going to need to get into that custom recovery. So if you're running a ROM that has a safe recovery and you wanna just hit reboot recovery, you can. Otherwise, you can do it manually, which is what I'm gonna do right now. I believe I was on stock FF18 right there, and I do have Clockwork Mod AGAT recovery installed, so I'm gonna go ahead and flash this ROM with AGAT recovery. Once your phone's powered off completely, go ahead and press and hold volume up power button at the same time. Keep it held down till the Samsung screen lights up. Let go once it does, and then it should automatically reboot you into that custom recovery. You'll see right here, AGAT recovery. Um, up at the top, we are uh, running AGAT recovery. So let's go ahead and install this ROM. First of all, I recommend making an Android backup. Go ahead and go to backup and restore and make one. Um, if you do want to restore that in Android, you have to have the same recovery, so you're going to need to uh, install AGAT recovery once again just to... Um, to basically restore that in Android backup, so kind of keep that in mind. Otherwise, go ahead and go to wipe cache partition and hit yes, wipe cache. It'll go ahead and wipe your cache partition. Then go to the advanced menu and hit wipe Dalvik cache right there. So go ahead and hit wipe Dalvik cache and then hit go back and then do a factory reset. So again, this is going to wipe everything. Hit wipe data, factory reset and hit yes, delete all user data. So make sure you do have all your apps, your contacts, everything you need backed up. All right, data wipe complete. Now go ahead and go to the install zip from SD card, choose it from SD card or internal SD card wherever you have transferred that file on over to, and then go ahead and find that uh, ROM zip, that uh, black ROM zip. So you'll see it is, where did I put that? Um, it's definitely my internal, so I'm gonna, it's right up there, black rom.zip, and hit yes, install. So go ahead and install that rom zip. Um, it will take a bit of time to install. You'll see Team Rejects and Nocturnal present uh, the black rom, and there we go. So I'll let it install, and I'll be back once it's done. All right, as you can see, install from SD card complete. The rom is done installing. Now just hit go back and then reboot system now, reboot system. So go ahead and reboot your Samsung Epic 4G Touch and once it boots up, you will be running that black ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. I will, do, will be doing a review video on that ROM, so you're definitely gonna wanna check that out. There you go, a uh, very fitting sound there, and you got a uh, nice James Bond uh, boot animation going on. So very cool there. Uh, anyways, uh, as I said, I'm doing, going to be doing a separate review video, so definitely be sure to check that out. I'll link to that in the description of the video. Be sure to subscribe as well. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.